Ladies and gentlemen, we have only had five races in this 2023, and the transfer market is already beginning to flourish. Despite the fact that many riders have a more or less guaranteed position for next season in MotoGP, there are specific situations that could be a major surprise. Let's turn the spotlight on Ducati Corse's sporting director, Paolo Chiabati, who recently stirred the MotoGP pot with some spicy comments about Yamaha. He tossed a dart their way, saying their MotoGP bike, in its current form, is not championship material. Now that's a bold statement. This little bombshell dropped as Chiabati was mulling over the future of Pramac Ducati's golden boy Jorge Martin. You might have heard the whispers that Martin might jump ship to Yamaha, partnering up with Fabio Quartararo for the 2024 MotoGP season. Now, during practice two at Le Mans, just before Chiabati made his opinion heard, Martin, our 2018 Moto3 champ, hinted that he was more likely to stick with Ducati. The Yamaha rumors, however, seemed to cling on, keeping the gossip mill humming. In what seemed like a response to the rumors, Martin decided to let his riding do the talking. He blazed through to victory in the sprint race and even snagged second place behind Marco Bezzecchi in the Grand Prix. The whispers about a potential Yamaha switch seemed to get a lot quieter after that. After not tasting victory since 2021, Martin has once again relished the sweet taste of success. His sprint race triumph puts him in the elite company of Bezzecchi and Francesco Bagnaia, both of whom have also flown the flag high for Ducati this season. Martin's victory lap only seemed to add more credibility to Chiabatti's claim about Ducati being the bike to be on, eclipsing Yamaha, at least for now. In a chat with MotoGP.com's pit lane reporter Jack Appleyard, during MotoGP P2, Chiabatti candidly admitted, yeah, sure, he Martin has an option in the contract, we would like him to stay with Ducati. He's one of the fastest young riders, and at the moment it doesn't look like Yamaha has the bike to win the championship. He added, I'm sorry to say, but this is what it looks like at the moment. We don't know about next year, but at the moment he's on a winning bike, and I think he'd like to stay because he likes to win. As we look towards the upcoming season, the chessboard seems to be setting up nicely for Ducati. Their factory team is all geared up, and with riders like Jorge Martin and Johan Zarco having options to extend their deals until the end of 2024, it appears that half the rider lineup puzzle is already solved for them. Now here's where things get a little intriguing. Unlike the riders from Grassini and Mooney VR46 who are signed to their individual teams, Ducati has a different structure. Riders like Francesco Bagnaia, Enea Bastianini, Martin and Zarco are contracted directly to Ducati itself, this direct arrangement offers Ducati a little more control and potentially more stability when it comes to managing their roster. And who better to shed light on Ducati's plans than the man at the helm, Paolo Chiabati. Speaking about the rider lineup for next season, Chiabati unveiled, honestly, we didn't make any decision for the future. Unfortunately, Enea has been out for a few races, so obviously we'd like to keep all the riders with us. One can sense a touch of concern from Chiabati for Bastianini, who has missed a few races. Yet the optimism remains, indicating a desire to keep the squad together for the long haul. That surely says something about the camaraderie within the team, doesn't it? Chibati went on to clarify the contract situation saying, you know that the Grassini and VR 46 riders are currently contracted to the team, so the contract with Peco, Enea, Johan and Jorge. He then added, in principle, we're happy with all of them. It's a bit too early for us to say regarding the problem with Enea and the crash, it's obviously delaying everything. While it's clear that they're eager to keep the band together, it's also evident that the uncertainty around Bastianini's situation has thrown a wrench in the works, slowing down Ducati's decision-making process for their future lineup. While some of the Ducati jigsaw pieces seem to be falling into place, others are still up in the air. However, the one thing that's clear is that Ducati's strategy is underpinned by a loyalty towards their riders and a desire to maintain a stable lineup. What are your thoughts on Ducati Corse's sporting director, Paolo Chiabati's critique of Yamaha? Do you believe these remarks will stir up the rivalry and result in a high-stakes showdown on the tracks in the upcoming season? Let's get the conversation going in the comments below. Before you leave, remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed this in-depth MotoGP analysis. And don't forget to share it with your fellow MotoGP enthusiasts so they can join the discussion too. To make sure you don't miss any future updates, do subscribe to MotoGP Zarathos. We bring you all the news, gossip, and in-depth analysis from the thrilling world of MotoGP.